Opportunity does not knock twice. And so, when Stellantis saw the opportunity, well, it grabbed it at the first knock. So, what is this? So, let's come to the design of this room. What is it all about? Well, on top, if you see, it's more or less like the front grille of a Jeep and that's what the idea was. But the main talking point, obviously, are the speakers that you see here. Now, this is the first time in India that you have a Dolby setup of 9.1.6. What does that mean? Well, you can see the speakers around me, right? There are nine speakers at the bottom, there are six speakers at the top and there is this one big subwoofer. So 9.1.6 and that means you get the most immersive sound experience that you'll ever imagine. Which is why even Dolby has given Stellantis this plaque which basically means that this has been approved by Dolby and is a first in India to have this kind of an immersive sound experience kind of studio. When you walk away, But there's a lot that's gone behind making this happen. I think we were very, very clear on the objectives from the get-go. And uh, we've done everything based on simulations. 80% of the work was done based on simulations. That gave us a total corpus of the aggregates, in the sense that we know exactly what's going to go inside the room. From a civil engineering point of view, from a uh, material perspective, and then the kit. So. Um, since we had an idea of what the bandwidth for this room is going to be, we also understood uh, what are the, the lacunas. And for that, we auditioned a lot of studios, music and video studios down south and Mumbai, which are the main production houses in India. We understood uh, the good and the bad points from those studios, and we wanted to address those areas. And once we had that information, that coupled with the simulations, we dialed in everything. And then it was just a matter of uh, you know, typical project management where we set really, really steep targets for ourselves and uh, we completed the project in 53 days. So the room that you see here is a floating room. It's suspended with three feet of padding in front and one foot on the sides, thus making sure that the room has the best acoustic experience you'll ever hear. But how does this help develop car entertainment? The fundamental idea behind this room is referencing. Uh, you need to be able to understand sound in a way it's been reproduced um, from a, a media production point of view. And to be able to realize that sound in a car environment, you need to be immersed in an environment which is not colored. So I think that um, the room takes care of that first principle. Then based on that knowledge base where we train our engineers, all of that knowledge is going to be deployed in the car where we tune the cars and fundamentally tuning the cars, getting them the sound nice and deploying all of the technologies over and above that. So it serves a lot of um, purposes in the sense that this room is cross-referencing, it is for production where we do a lot of active sound design and the other stuff that's going to happen in the future. With entertainment becoming the low-hanging fruit for most manufacturers, it's becoming crucial to fill the void that the engine noise usually had and the other noise inside the car with something different. Yes, with electric vehicles and autonomous vehicles becoming more mainstream, that's exactly the void that entertainment is going to fill up. And with sound designs, with extremely intricate uh, sound options designed in this very studio, Stellantis wants to give the customers a choice about what they want to experience in their car. From compartmentalized sound, like say, in a conference call that you will be engaging in, and of course, music for all, 
that is all being developed and engineered right here in India. Yet again, we see India becoming a stronghold for global technologies. And we'll see more from Stellantis very soon. In fact, there's a lot happening behind closed doors, which we cannot tell you about. But the next two months are going to be very interesting. That's all we can say.